Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Splendor. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll have a really good idea of how Splendor plays. I've set the game up as a two player game. The only differences with a higher player count game is the number of tokens. So we come down to four tokens only for the two player game. For a three player game, you'll have five of these and for the full four player game, you'll have seven of them. Uh, the number of gold tokens doesn't ever change and the number of nobles does change. So it's um, how many players you have plus one. So at the moment, there's three nobles obviously available to us. If it was a four player game, there would be five available. So let's get started. The player on the left, what he's looking at is he can see that we're going after the white and the uh, brown or black gems to start with and then fill that in with red. That will get him the most points up with the nobles. In order to get the white or brown gems, there's only white available at the table at the moment. There's no brown ones available. So he's really trying to build up into these ones. So he's probably going to go for that one as a starting point, which means he will really need four of the reds. In order to get the reds, he could take these guys and that will put him in position to have them. So he might start with that. So he'll take two whites to start with. The other player likes the idea of going after the green ones. So he'll take two blacks or browns. Um, you notice I'm calling the black or brown. It's because to my eyes, this looks black, but the token itself looks brown. So please, uh, I'll, black or brown, they will be interchangeable. Please forgive. And that's just the way the game plays. Okay, we're back over to this player. He will now take a blue, a green, and a black. Then this player will take a white, a red, and a blue. This player now has all of the tokens needed for this one. So he'll return one black, one green, one blue, and two white, and he'll take that card. A new card then comes out. Uh, this player can do similar. So one white, one red, one blue, and two black, take that one. Flip over a new card. This player's turn again, he'll take a white and a black. So that'll put him in position to hopefully be able to get this. He'll need to get a couple more blacks before he can get there, but he might take a red as well. This player has a green and he'll take two more greens for the moment. Back over to this player. He needs a brown. So he's got two of these browns. So he's one off getting up to get that. He'll take a blue and he needs something else as a throwaway color. He'll just take a green as a throwaway color. Okay, back over to this player who has three green at the moment. He will go after one red, one brown, and look, he'll just take a blue. Back over to this player and he'll take a brown and a blue and a red. Notice he has nine tokens. If he takes one more token on his next turn, uh, that's the limit. So he's able to take 12 as a total, so taking the three tokens, but he'll have to return two if he continues that way. This player will take a red and a blue. Uh, there's no brown for him to be able to take, so he can't take one of them. So he might uh, take a white just as an outside color. Okay, so we over this side, this guy can now turn in three of the brown, one red, and one white to take that. This guy will just take these two. Uh, that puts him to a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That puts him to his total of 10. He could take one more and then return one if he wished, but that will do him. Okay, back over to the left-hand side. So he'll take this one, which needs two blues and two reds. He already has two reds in his stack, so he just returns two blues. This side, looking for two reds, two browns, and three greens to get him that one, which suddenly gives him a point. So this side is ahead at the moment. And we flip out another card. Now this is the first brown one to come out. So what the player on the left is going to do, he's going to reserve that card. So let's put that to the side and that gets him a gold token. The player on the right is going to grab a brown and a white and a green, so of course he doesn't have any green. Uh, the player on the left is once again going to grab that. You can grab a maximum of two cards in reserve. The player on the right will use 
his um, three of these plus that makes four, two blue and one brown to grab that one. And that then flips another one out. The player on the left is going to use these two golds as if they're white and this green plus the card itself to be that brown. So he's just picked up one of the ones that he reserved earlier. The player on the right will grab two of those whites. The player on the left will grab two of the blue gems. On the back to the right, he'll grab one white, one blue, and one brown. The player on the left will reserve another card and he's gonna reserve this one, which gets replaced. Player on the right has four whites, so three of them and that one, which gets him that. Okay, I think you get an idea of how this game is running. I'm probably going to leave it there, and you can kind of get an idea of how the whole game runs and how it all builds up. Uh, the first players to get these three or four of the correct colour within the cards, not the gems, the cards themselves, We'll get those ones, and the first 15 is the winner of the game. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you have any games that you wish to be gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplaner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplaner to see what games I've been playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.